All right, this is the Reflecting Report, and uh, if you don't know what the Reflecting Report is, is where I talk about uh, some current aspect of Kingdom Hearts, and I just want to talk about it, let you know about it, uh, tell you what I like about it, don't like about it, and so on. Now, this one is kind of a different one. I'm going to be talking about a specific part of Kingdom Hearts 2, and that is the mansion in Twilight Town. Now, if you didn't know, recently, in the past couple of years, people started to notice that uh, there's a slight connection. It could be a coincidence, but I think it's a connection between uh, the mansion in Twilight Town and Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. And a lot of people probably already know about this. If you, you know, like in if you know about Kingdom Hearts, you follow the news, you probably already know about this. But if you don't, if you look around the mansion in uh, Twilight Town, uh, you'll see that there's a lot of kind of symbolism or like statues or designs of unicorns in around the mansion you'll see statues you'll see pillars you'll see in their back garden there's, i think there's like a um, something unicorn statue or fountain there and if you just look around there's a lot of unicorns there and what a lot of people have been speculating about is that this mansion belongs or is at least connected to unicornus from uh kingdom Hearts unchained key and when i heard about that this was like a pff, like a mind-blown moment for me Kingdom Hearts has been a series for me that like loves to uh, have connections with games like from the past or like you see things from the past foreshadowed and you find out about it like years later and I feel like this has been the biggest example of that it's just amazing uh, like I mentioned in my last episode like when you fought Lingering Will and found out that was a connection to Birth by Sleep or in Birth by Sleep when you fought when you fought the mysterious figure that was a connection to Dream Drop Distance because I was young Zane or that shit I love I eat that shit up but then this is just another example of it and th this is just so crazy to me Kingdom Hearts 2 was made in what 2006 2007 and this came like came like to light like last year ish like 2017 ish and that's like 10 years and like that's the only reason why i think that it might be a coincidence i feel like it could have just been like a d design philosophy they wanted for the mansion and then later they just made a unicorn guy and it might be a coincidence because 10 years that's a long time for pre-planning and like so because of that, I feel like there is a chance for it to be a coincidence, but well, assuming it's not a coincidence, I feel like this could be a huge connection to the foretellers, and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about in this, re in this reflecting report, um, is how the foretellers could be connected to other worlds, and how is this even possible, because thinking about it, just like base level, why would Unicornus have a connection to Twilight Town? <clears throat> Sorry, but uh, like, why would Unicornus have a connection to Twilight Town? Like what's there why like do the other foretellers have connections to any other places is there like <clears throat> a lineage of each foreteller and like maybe the current unicorn is if that's even a thing lived here like what's up like the, the mansion is such a mysterious thing we didn't know that much about it it was just a haunted mansion in kingdom Hearts 2 so we really don't know that much about it so like assuming there's a connection between them what what do the other foretellers have and i'm um, like it, it'd be awesome this the best case case scenario would be like if people went to the old games or maybe even in kingdom Hearts 3 and you go around in different worlds and you see like a place that's uh themed to like foxes for um oh, what's her name volpis volpi Volp something but I, I can't remember her name right now Ava, Ava, her, and there's like, yeah, there's a place, a uh, theme to her, and if you go to another place, it's like a snake theme place, another place which is a bear theme place, and that'd be very cool, and I would like to like know like what worlds are connected to and why they're connected to it, like if you if I'm if I'm trying to find out why Unicornus is connected to Twilight Town, the only like base level thing I can think about, and I know a lot of people have already speculated about this, is that Twilight Town may be the present Daybreak Town, Daybreak Town, because. If you look at both places, like from Unchained Key and, you know, Twilight Town, they don't look, you know, like that different, like in terms of like the structures and like the houses. Uh, the only like main, you know, difference you can see like right off the bat is the color. Twilight Town is more, you know, orange and Daybreak Town is more purple. But then at the same time, you know, the names, you kind of see a connection, but like at the same time, all the names they've been doing are like that, uh, like Traverse Town. Actually, no, that's not really a time. Nah. But like that was more of a night city. Twilight Town is obviously twilight. Daybreak is daybreak. But at the same time, twilight and daybreak are similar times of day. So like maybe Twilight Town is a present daybreak town, and like that, I, I like that's not too far fetched in my opinion. I can see that happening. Again, the buildings look somewhat familiar. It's not like we've seen a lot of daybreak anyways. We were mostly like in one like area of it, so I can see it happening like that it used to be purple but then over time you know that city has the town has browned and like i guess to give it like a brownish orange paint or just the paint is just old i can really see that happening and we do like usually see twilight town in like a twilight state where it's kind of like a sunrisey sunsetty light so that could also add to the brownish um orangish lighting so like that's the only connection i can kind of see between um unicornus and twilight town where he had a mansion 
in daybreak and then like over time daybreak town just you know became twilight town other than that i don't know what the connection would be i would love to see more connections hopefully this is answered in kingdom Hearts 2 where like it shows like the mansion and maybe if it is daybreak town it's more purple and we see it like when it was in its uh you know in its new state and actually another piece of evidence of maybe it could be daybreak town is that when you go into the mansion it's not in a very good state you you see like everything on the ground oh my god this is amazing so like you see everything on the ground broken you go to rooms it's like everything's like shattered it looks horrible and like maybe in kingdom Hearts 3 there may be a cutscene or maybe like a flashback where we get to play through where like it's in a new state and like a fight breaks down there and like damn oh that'd be amazing okay no now that i remember that everything is broken in twilight Twilight, like the mansion i can 100 percent see that they did plan this because like just having everything broken like for no reason i could kind of buy that they did that just you know for the sake of it but like if they did want to connect it to Kingdom Hearts Engine Key, I can see like something happening there, something uh, pretty important where there was some kind of event and some f fight broke down between maybe Unicornus and someone else, maybe Unicornus and like other foretellers or, or what it may be. I feel like there is some kind of foreshadowing happening there. And I really love that people have found this and that there could potentially be more connections to the other foretellers. So like what other connections there may be i don't know but if you guys have any other ideas let me know down in the comments but i really loved this aspect of kingdom hearts and how like they foreshadowed or connected to the present of kingdom Hearts, and hope to see more of this in kingdom Hearts 3 to the future of kingdom Hearts. so like that's all i want to talk about the mansion if you guys have any more ideas about this let me know down in the comments below i love things like this in all types of media so if there is more i'll eat it right up so uh yeah so let me know down in the uh, comments below if you do know more about this but other than that let's just get straight to dream dive